Yes. Many years ago at Pensipore was a wonderful time. And my dear friend, who is a count, decided to go to the war. He arrived with his wife and four beautiful children. They arrived early in the morning. And they came into their land. He saw the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. And he knew, this is the tree for me. I shall set my pavilion up underneath it, and it shall be perfect. We shall have shade, the best pensic ever. And so he began to lay out his pavilion. When he heard the sound above him, a buzz. <laughs> he looked up. There was a hornet's nest. This cannot be, he said. <laughs> I am a mighty count of the mid realm. There is no hornet that will stop me from setting my pavilion up here. So, his idea was this, and it was a very good idea, you will agree with me. <laughs> he would have his oldest son pull down the branch while he took some fabric he had gotten from his wife. He would throw it over the, west, the, the hornet's nest and yank it down <laughs> and then stomp on it and destroy it. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, his eldest son was only 16 years old, and so he grabs the branch, pulls it down, and some really pretty young girls. <laughs> and so the branch starts to do this. <laughs> and the hornets, they do not like this, so they erupt from the nest and began to sting our poor count. They did not stay. <clears throat> Four beautiful children and the wife because the, she was smart and knew to get them in the cart and close everything up. <laughs> <laughs> so after everything had calmed down, the Count said, this cannot stand. I will not be vanquished by hornets. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? Then it came to me. Fire! Oh. So, he took a large branch, set it on fire, and thrust it into the nest. <laughs> now, here is a very important thing that perhaps you do not know. But when hornets are on fire, they can still fly. <laughs> Our brave, valiant, mithril count running around like mad, being chased by flaming fire. <laughs> However, his four beautiful children and wife were safe because she was better in it than his partner. <laughs> now, the nest did burn, the hornets did die. He recovered from his wound and did set up the pavilion underneath the beautiful tree. So, my friends, when you see my good friend, Count Savavik of the Midrim, <laughs> let him know Sophia has told this story. 